Today, I'm going to discuss a story. And as you can see from the title, when a girl says no, respect it. But you can respectfully end the link, okay? You don't have to continue being with that person. So I'm explain. I'm explain my story. Just sit back and here's how this shit went. Basically, um, I know this girl, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna reveal names, so let's just call her Sarah. So, I've been talking to Sarah literally since, like, I got into college, right? Freshman year, boom, we talking, talking, we talk on and off, we don't really consistently talk and all that and shit. Oh yeah, I linked her before too, like, way back in my freshman year, I had linked her and all that. Um, nothing happened at the time, you feel me, like, but I linked her and all that. She recently hit her back up over the summer and shit, and just checking on her and shit. And, you know, I be checking in on Sarah, like, here and there and shit, too. Just say what's up, you feel me, just keep the contact going and shit. Cool. I get back to campus last week and shit. Hit her up, like, yo, like, you want a link? And she says, yeah, I'm with it. Cool. Boom. She says she come over to my place. All right, cool. Now, a lot of guys automatically think that just because girls coming over to your place means she want to fuck. Excuse me, I should say means she wants to have sex. That is not the case, my friends. So, like, I'm just warning y'all on that now. Like, not every girl that says she'll come to the crib and willingly does so wants to smash you. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm just putting that out there so y'all know that. Because this has happened to me on many occasions where I've been interacting with women. And I've invited to the, them to the crib. And they came over and they did not want to smash. Like, actually, the majority of my interactions with women have been, when they have came to the crib, have been have been with them ending uh, and saying, nah, I'm not trying to do nothing. You feel me? Comes over. We chilling in the crib. We're booling, having a good time, just chilling. We throwing, throwing a little Netflix, watching a little TV and shit, just talking, catching up. And then we throwing a movie, throwing a scary movie. Now, whenever a girl says put on a scary movie, that means cuddle time, all right? Just so y'all know. That means cuddle time. That means she wants to cuddle with you. She wants to, you feel me, Start pushing it a little bit, pushing that boundary a little bit, you feel me? Just to get close to you, you feel me? Because scary movies, ah, 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 you feel me? She, so she want to be next to you, you feel me? She want to be held, you feel me? So, boom. I put on some movie. She wasn't even that scary. I'm not even going to cap. Um, we cuddling a little bit here and there, a little bit, a little bit. And then the movie is going on, right? And I, I think, like, yo, right before the movie starts, matter of fact, I think, like, yo, like, I need to just be straightforward real quick and like just ask her is anything going to go down like do you want to do anything you feel me like are we going to get into anything tonight just so i know just so i can have a clear communication with her because i like to be straightforward and direct just so it's a clear communication just so i know if anything's gonna go down i can be prepared granted nothing went down in the end but here's how this went though here's how this went so the movie is going on for like 20 minutes, right? We cuddling and all that, getting nice and close, you feel me? Was like, I was feeling the vibe. Shorty came in, bro. She came in a hoodie, bro. Sarah came with a hoodie, bro. No fucking bottoms on, bro. Bro, she had like these tight ass spandex shorts, bro. But all you could see was the hoodie, bro. Because it draped over the whole thing, bro. All you could see was the hoodie, bro. So literally, bro, she looked like she came ready to like get, get busy. That's no problem with that, you feel me? I Respect it, so let's go. Boom. So I said, yo, let me I pause the movie. I said, yo, um, real quick, I did wanna ask you for me just so I know, like, were you trying to do anything tonight? And then she's gonna go, What do you mean do anything? What do you mean by anything? I said, like, you know, like you trying to do something, you feel me? Like, we don't have to just keep sitting here, you feel me, if you want, if you don't want to, it's up to you. And she's like, Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything. Cool. I mean, I, 
I said, okay, that's fine. I mean, I respect that. I just wanted to have a clear communication with you. And she said, yeah, I, I, she said, I, I'm happy about the fact that you asked me directly and all that. Cool. Boom, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm chilling, bro. Honestly, because like I said before, I know that every time a girl links me, it's not going to end up in sexy for me. So I'm chilling, bro. Watching the movie, chilling. I'm leaning back and shit, bro. Boom. Out of nowhere, bro, shorty starts touching me, bro. Bro, shorty starts like, for the rest of the whole movie, actually, bro. Shorty just like starts touching my lips, bro. Like touching my hair and shit, bro. Just like feeling me, bro. Giving me OD sex vibes, bro. So now I'm thoroughly confused, bro. Because now I don't know what the fuck is going on, bro. I don't know, like, I don't know, like, w w like, are you trying to, like, act? are you trying to, like, provoke me? Are you trying to, like, get something started? Like, what are you doing? So you said no. You clearly said no. Right. So I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm not going to you feel me invite myself to continue to touch you or do anything like that. You feel me? But you're touching me. Get off me, ho. The hell off me. She. Bro, I was so confused, bro. And then at a certain part in the movie towards the end, bro, she literally gets up, faces her entire body away from the screen and directly at me. Now I'm dead confused. Like, I say, yo, you good? Like, you need anything? Like, what's up? Like, she's like, no, nothing. I'm like, okay. So literally, bro, you're saying nothing. You're not giving me nothing to work with. You said no earlier. I respected that. So like, what is this link? Like, what is this actually like? Do you just want to like be like cuddling up as like a boyfriend, girlfriend thingy, this, that, and that. Like, bro, bro, bro. She wasn't even trying to cuddle, bro. She was She wasn't even on the bed, bro. Bro, she was like halfway on the bed, bro. And I'm like, yo, what is good? Yo, what is Sarah doing right now? Like, yo, come on the bed. I invited you on the bed. If, if we gonna at least watch the movie, you're not trying to just get comfy? We can't get comfy? We can't get close? So like, I'm just all the way thoroughly confused, bro. She, she ordered her Uber home finally after the movie went off and shit. The Uber is taking forever to come, bro. Ain't all this to say, bro. It's like... Respect when a woman says no. Like give them give them that respect. Like you feel me? That you you look more attractive when you don't force shit and you could just like laugh this shit off, you feel me? They like that shit, you feel me? Cause it shows you not stressed about nothing. You don't care, bro. You you, you out here, bro. You could get any girl you want, you feel me? You're not stressed about her, simply her, you feel me? It's a million fishes in the sea. So I'm saying that again, once again to say, bro, when a woman says no, respect it, but in that situation, honestly, like, I should have just ended the link. I should have ended the fucking link. The link should have been over with, like, like, pretty much, like, a couple minutes, like, no, after she started touching me, you feel me? Because I didn't really have a problem, you feel me? Like I said, I didn't have a problem. After she said no, I was bowling, cracking jokes, bro. But then you're continuously touching me? What? What are we doing? Uh, that was awkward, bro. Like, honestly, that was just awkward, bro. Because literally, bro, she's, like, touching my lips, bro, like, fingering my lips, Playing with my hair, bro. Just rubbing my head and shit. Touching on my arms and shit, bro. And I can't do nothing back, bro. Like, I was so confused. I was so confused. So, like, in a situation like that, bro. Bros. To all my bros. Just end the link right then and there. Because that shit. That shit is not worth it, bro. Bro. That shit is not worth it. I mean, all. I mean, you, you, you learn something. You just learn not to hit her up again. And that's completely fine. That's completely fine. You just don't hit her up. As simple as that. You feel me? I don't have no hard feelings. I don't have any hard feelings. I just know not to hit her up. Just keep going about my life. Because, like, why are we still sitting there on the bed and you just touching me? And it's like, I, you, like I'm not going to egg anything on. You said no. And you said it multiple times, like, clearly. Like, she, it wasn't just like, oh, nah, uh, maybe. It was like, no, 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 no. So I'm like, okay, cool. I respect that. Respect when a girl says no. But if you have to, if it gets uncomfortable, end the fucking link. All right? That's all I'm going to say. Always keep it cool with these women. You feel me? Spit your game. And you know, keep developing your game. I'll be back out here with more videos on game, woman, and just life in general. Zaza Board, out. Peace.